What is going down YouTube? And wherever I share else's video, I might share it on Facebook as well, but oh man, I got a story here. So my previous video, I talked about how I traded my Ford truck in, how I was sad about it. Would you believe I'm heading back to get it? I am in what was my 2012 Dodge Ram. I haven't even owned it, I don't know, three, not even three days. Today I believe is the second day of me having it, but I've had it a total of maybe 24 hours. The first day I brought it home, I had to take it back to them and it went in the shop. And then I did some researching on the Dodge Hemi, the 5.7 Hemi in this, in this type of vehicle. They have what's called the Hemi Tick. I knew nothing about it, so I researched it and looked into it. Well, this truck has the Hemi Tick. I asked a dealer about the Hemi, this, this, this Tick, and they told me it's an exhaust manifold leak. When it gets warm, it goes away. Well, it did have an exhaust manifold leak. I listened to it. I heard it go away. But the Tick is still there. There is a difference between a manifold leak and an engine Tick. It's not knocking but there's a little tick and it's because like I said I did a research on this motor so now that I know that there is a roller rocker and the roller rockers don't get oil up on the camshaft and then the camshaft will get eaten up by the roller rocker that has a little bearing in it and the bearing will just explode and it won't spin or rotate and therefore it eats up the camshaft well I'm aware of it I went and bought a uh oh, dang it what's that thing called Things you put in your ear and you can check the motor with and just I don't know, I'll probably add the other vehicle I'll add the other vehicles other vehicles the other videos to this video so you can hear the ticking because there is a tick in the motor and it's only got 61,000 miles on it. Like I said, I thought I was getting a hell of a deal. I paid over twenty thousand dollars for this truck and now I'm taking it back to get my money back and get my old 73 back because this truck is shit. This motor is just on the edge of, of going to go out at some point. Yeah, I could last a year with this tick. It could last another 5,000 miles and be even worse. So I can't afford to take that chance. And I, I'm just having other issues with this car lot that I bought in Coopersville. Coopersville, Benton Baker. I, I got it. I hate throwing people under the bus, but they're a bad. They're not looking out for me. Like I said, I haven't had this vehicle over. 24 hours total be having it and I'm also having issues with the thermostat look how cold it is it's hot in here now because the truck's been running pretty much for half the day but when you start it it doesn't get warm the heat comes out lukewarm not hot so it doesn't even get warm in the vehicle the thermostat is stuck open so I asked them about the thermostat and they pretty much recommend me to take it to a mechanic because they're cheaper than taking it to a dealer tells me I can't buy this vehicle from them if they can't even help me out with a thermostat. When I first bought the vehicle, when he gave me the keys, because when he, he told me I was all set, so I had to take my truck home to drop off my supplies that I had in there. I bring the truck back, give them my truck keys, I take these truck keys, and I go outside to start it. Right off the bat, it wouldn't start. It had a dead battery. The salesman gave me a jump. I went home. I sat home for maybe, I don't know, an hour and a half to two hours tops. I go out there to start it, and it wouldn't start. It had a dead battery. So I hit up my salesman, told him that it won't start. He says, bring it back down. So I brought it back down the day I bought it. I only had the truck maybe two hours. And then they had the truck. I dropped it off at like 6 o'clock at night. I had to call them and text them at 2 o'clock, ask them what's going on. Because I knew it was a dead battery to dead cell. I knew that. I mean, I'm not... I know mechanicals. I don't have a, I don't have a, a license. I'm not a licensed uh, mechanic, but I'm pretty mechanical and I know how to figure stuff, troubleshoot stuff out. But they just, they just out of control. The customer service at this place is absolutely horrible, and it sucks. It is what it is. Maybe they'll give me a change of heart when I go down here and do a trade. Maybe they'll say something different, but I don't. I doubt it. It's gonna go. They're gonna give me my keys. I'm gonna give them theirs, and that's that. And like I said, now I'm going my old 7.3. She hasn't started in two and a half, three days. So I gotta be a can of brake cleaner. She's not gonna wanna start. So I might have to get towed home, but I don't know, I just, 
had to make a short little video here. Man, I have been having sleepless nights too. I've been up for two nights in a row just thinking about this stupid truck and that damn motor. So, I don't recommend the Hemis. Just, I recommend Dodges. Love the interior. I love everything else about it. If you're going with a Dodge, you better go with that Cummins. Stay away from these Hemis. I don't know, especially if you hear a tick. You shouldn't be hearing no tick. And if they would just take care of me, but they're not taking care of me. If they said, oh, Doug, you know, we'll, uh, we'll fix you up, brother. We'll put a new thermostat in for you. And yes, we're aware of that tick. We'll put it in our, in our paperwork. If it ever gets worse, or ever gets louder, bring it on down. We'll take care of you. Because it's cheaper for them to fix it than it is for me to fix it. I don't have the know-how to do that. I could probably figure it out, but I know nothing about this truck other than what I just learned over the last 24 hours. But like I said, I just, I had a real bad experience with them. And it is what it is. Just thought I'd give my uh, moment on that. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Oh, add in the comments if you had this situation before. I love hearing other people's opinions. But uh, y'all have a great day. Sleek. A tick.
safe, man. Appreciate it. I just got her. Yeah.